hey loves welcome back to my channel today i'm coming to you guys with my week uh post gastric bypass surgery updates um if you're new to my channel welcome my name is evie also known as EVMUA or evpmua on all my other social media platforms um i have been a bariatric patient since 2013 so i've been a bariatric patient for about seven and a half years um and uh i, I just know the life i just know the life um i have had successes and i have had downfalls so for those of you that are new to my channel i'm just going to give you a little backstory in january of 2013 13, I went ahead after about six months of the program that I did with my doctors and my surgeons and my surgical team. Um, I went ahead and got the lap band done in January of 2013. Um, I did well for a year and then I started experiencing some complications where the food was just coming up regardless of how much we adjusted the band or not. And I was moving on to not being as successful as I should have been with the uh, lap band. So um i uh went ahead my doctor went ahead and suggested that i do the sleeve and so then we did the revision to the sleeve surgery in october of 2015. so two years and a half or two years and a few months after my lap band i went ahead and did the sleeve um transition uh so he went ahead and removed the lap band in october of 2015 and did the sleeve so that means he just cut my stomach into the shape of a banana um so fast forward five years we are here um as of august 19th my doctor went ahead and revised my sleeve um into a gastric bypass a full ruin y um and the reasons for that as follows, if you're new here, if you've been following me, thank you. You guys have been watching my car vlogs. Um, I was starting to have severe reflux. I, it started about a year after surgery. I was already having some weird um, complications and cravings and issues with food that I never had before after the surgery, which were concerning enough to me, but I thought it was all in my head from what I was told and I dealt with it. Um, fast forward to about a year and a half after the surgery, I was starting to throw up food and hold on to foods for longer than I needed to. So I am now five years out of having the sleeve and my doctor revised it to the full Ruin Y gastric bypass. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I was scared. Um, I was, I'm was. i still a little trepidatious because I feel like, you know, I'm like, damn, I failed twice. Like, what the hell? You know, all that third time's a charm shit. But you know what? Maybe I should have done uh, the gastric bypass sooner. But um, those are things that, you know, neither here nor there, I can't change those things. So anyway, here we are a week post-op. Had you asked me three days ago how I felt, I would have told you I felt like utter shit and like I got ran over by a truck. Um, I am now seven days post-op. I feel a lot better. I am moving better. My incisions are itching like crazy. Um, they do everything laparoscopically, of course. Um, I'm able to hold down fluids from day one. Um, I didn't go on any pain meds. I think I had only one dose of um, a narcotic and that was uh, by mouth. It wasn't through IV, thank God. And I didn't respond the way I did with the other surgery. With my sleeve surgery, I had so many issues, um, especially with anesthesia and, and the IV meds and all that. And this time the team just just toned in and took care of me to the best of their abilities, now knowing what they know and now knowing what I know. And they did their best. And I'm super, super happy from the care down to pre-op, post-op, and even throughout um, when I had questions, if, if any. Um, so far i'm able to hold on fluids i haven't had much protein maybe no more than 30 grams of protein a day uh, and i feel like now today especially from last night's issues because i was like having stomach aches i think i should be trying to push myself to get at least 64 um grams of protein in a day 60 at least um so i'm gonna that's my goal for today i am doing a lot better I have a little bit more energy, even though I'm a little bit tired, of course, because I don't sleep anyway. Um, but I'm not feeling the chest pressure. All that stuff moved along by day five. Um, I'm very, very happy with the results. So far, I have lost 
about six pounds in the seven days. I did gain three after surgery, and that was all from swelling and all the air that they push in you from going in laparoscopically. Um, so I lost 10 pounds with my pre-op diet, and then I lo I've lost an additional six pounds in the last, you know, seven days um, after surgery. So about I'm losing about a pound a day, um, and I lost those three pounds, you know, from the swelling and all that. So that was great um right now i'm about to go with my husband he's about to take me to the store so i can see if i can get like sugar-free hot chocolate just something to kind of switch it up to give me something warm to drink and i'm going to start putting collagen um collagen uh peptides in like my hot drinks or my my broths to see if that helps me heal up quicker and also give me that little boost of like extra protein and stuff like that um i've been drinking my core uh, shakes my protein uh, what are they called the fair life core protein shakes the 42 grams and those have been working just fine but i'm only able to drink half of one a day and then i'm just drinking clears all day um i am on a clear diet until next week <laughs> wednesday thursday um and then that's when i do my follow-up and of course i'll come to you guys with another video after i do my follow-up appointments and i'll be going back to work late next week um so I have one more week off. <laughs> um, I feel okay. Like I just, I think I'm just taking it day by day. It's kind of like a little shock because I'm like not, um, excuse me, not at work and I'm not used to like not doing anything and being of use um, throughout my day, especially some days I work 22, 23 hours a day. So, um, but I've had time to do my skincare. So um, I feel good. I, I thank you guys so much for reaching out to me on Snapchat and on Instagram. I've seen all of your messages um, and, and I appreciate you guys so much. If you guys want like real updates, like just random bullshit as updates, the best place to follow me is like Instagram or Snapchat. Those are when I do my quick updates. Like it's really hard for me right now to film. Um, I just don't have, just it's just not there. And I don't wanna give you guys bullshit like I don't want to give you guys whack content I want to give you guys the best that I can um and so you know that's why I've been holding out on doing like beauty stuff and stuff like that but I would probably come to you guys with like another bed tutorial like just sit in bed with like my little makeup bag and do like a nice little colorful beat you know just so we can lay right the fuck down and get some rest <laughs> um so anyway guys that was my update um if you guys have any questions um or you're interested in bariatric surgery i mean i have plenty of experience um yeah i have plenty of experience um i'll probably come to you guys like if you guys ask me like questions on this video i will probably um answer those in the next video maybe we could do like a Q&A video for my my two week follow up and stuff like that um so so far I'm feeling great I'm able to hold down fluids I'm not hungry I don't have the feeling of hunger I don't have the acid reflux that's a good update um and maybe I think I'm starting to get like hunger like pains just the intestines kind of move around you get a little tummy ache um but it's not like any no cravings no, nothing absurd um so it's kind of like a 180 so I'm kind of like treading lightly like walking on eggshells because i'm scared like i didn't have success with my first two surgeries like success up to a certain point and then i just plateaued and have just been barely there maintaining so anyways i love you guys so much i thank you guys so much for tuning into this update um it is early in the morning not really early in the morning is it yeah it's early in the morning this probably won't be up until the afternoon when i get um into the house and get some wi-fi um but i will be uploading it today exactly Exactly one week post-op so I had my surgery on 8 19 which was last week Wednesday and <laughs> I am down 16 pounds so from pre-op to now I'm down 16 pounds so in two weeks I've lost 16 pounds I say that's pretty good you know what I'm saying but anyway I love you guys so much thank you so much for tuning in please feel free to ask some questions down below that you may want me to kind of touch base on whether it be what kind of program I did um how long did I do this x y and z whatever you guys want to ask I think that'll be good for me to kind of like write down some of your questions and actually have something to tell you guys <laughs> besides my two-week uh, post-op update which that that'll be it um next week week i think it's gonna be on thursday that's when my appointment is so i will see you guys then i love you guys so much and thank you so much for the support and why don't you just subscribe already if you're not because i mean a girl can use a little extra loving anyway thank you guys so much love you guys bye